Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Fossil Fighters Champions. Last we left off, we're about to... How long is I going to fuck off? That's just about it. Stop, I'm not Zonga Zonga. It's me, Rupert. I'm not lying, I'm Rupert. Please, my friends, you must believe me. How can I how can I tell if that's Rupert without like like, do I just know what Rupert's skull looks like innately? Fans are gonna freak out when they see you like this, okay. I managed to capture his skull in the elevator. Before I could subdue him, it struck me with a headbutt. When I came to, I found myself in my current state. Perhaps you youngsters would be willing to chase him down one last time? Please find my body. I've grown attached to it over the years. Grab a couple fossil rocks. I had to take a wild guess, I'd say uh, Zonga Zonga left the stone pyramid. My bag's not even half full yet. He's probably run back to town. There. But that's the townsfolk. I haven't seen Rupert, but I'd love to meet him someday. True. He's not here, and I've been on duty all day, so I'd know. Maybe he's on a different island then. Maybe someone's gone. Call him hop into a helicopter. What do you gotta say, Todd? Rupert isn't in regular town. Well, that settles it. Alright. Uh, let's check cranial. I actually don't remember. This may take us. I 
so I'm going helicopter to Ilya. Alright, good. Wait, so hang on. He left Regular to go to Cranial and then went to Cranial to get to Ilya when he could have just taken a helicopter from Regular right now. He hasn't come to the station since I've been here. Okay, he's not in the station. He's probably in one of the dig sites. Haven't seen him at the Fossil Guild or Spring Height. He's either an Ice Grip or Bone Hemoth. Someone over here to talk to you. Yep. Go to Ice Grip Plateau. Hey. Okay. Back there. Not gonna dig for any fossils here. That was a bit fun. Probably up here if I had to guess. Yep. Wrong. Is there a problem with Zonga Zonga's skull? I'm kidding, of course I know why you're here. Because I am Zonga Zonga. You are so close! How frustrating this must be for you. Had the Pip Squeak's power lasted a second longer, this Rupert fellow would have had me. I have good news. I've decided not to steal your body after all. Rupert's body is your equal in nearly every way. It's quite remarkable, really. A flawless vessel from which to launch my glorious reign. Behold the power of the majestic vessel. Dang, I didn't know that failure could pull a castle out of the sea. Be able to raise the building despite being in Rupert's body for such a short time. Once he was fully adjusted, he may prove to be unstoppable. Well, I guess we'll have to beat him before he can get comfortable. That Stella Terry and Kent on Terra to see if they can get into the castle. I sure hope they can. Paris has the best flying ability of all time, as far as even a helicopter could fly through that kind of weather they described. Unless one of y'all has a high powered rocket, we can launch through the storm. Well, we haven't used it because of, you know, because we don't have wireless play, but like we do have. Want to use the fossil cannon to shoot yourself into the castle? I'm briefed in the situation, I wish I could say the good of the world is my first concern. The truth more concerned with retrieving the body of my son. Yeah, fair. I believe I can modify the cannon to fit your needs. Will you allow me to assist? Of course. Of 
course I can't, I built the thing. I'll make it so the cannon will be able to fire a person as easily as a fossil rock. However, as the time is short, I will need to be on a rush drive that will only be able to launch a single person. As we all pretty much unanimously agree that it's gonna be me. I used you and I lied to you as well. well my attentions were good, that ain't no excuse. Sorry. Just turns. Okay, I need hang on. Just playing with the mouse pad. I need to rest my right hand on the mouse pad because my wrist is starting to hurt again. Do this shit. I want you to gather the BB Brigade and give this fellow whatever help he needs. to help shoot me out of the cannon. Anything we need to do before the final fight? Let's do that now. Check our team. Because I pressed the wrong button again. Get Spinax, Tanstro, Wagia, Tophus, Opso. is who do I want to take to the final fight? I take the... Let's do it, Joe. How's this here Fossil King coming along, Pard? Just finishing up, we should be able to fire a single person over to the castle. I'll do everything in my power to come back in one piece. It feels lumpy. Bowls are lumpy. Getting to annoy me. But your effort is too little and much too late, I'm afraid. I've already grown accustomed to my body. This former power of, has all returned to me. I shall show you the true power of my sorcery. The long extinct dinosaurs from beyond time itself. The same ones that terrified the puny humans of Caliosti Islands. I will show you undead dinosaurs born of the Stygian Dark. Fallen dragons from a bygone age, your master, the mighty sorcerer, compels you. Let your dark bones be cloaked once more in flesh of hate. Rise! Zombie Terra, Zombie Tricera, and Zombie Elasma. 
Look at those enemy AZ support effects. Holy balls. We definitely want... Definitely want Tanstro. And that's a question of do I want Lagia or Comp? I think Comp is going to be slightly more helpful. Because we're not going to do Link too much because... Let, let's be real, we're not going to attack with Gigas by next one. Who has more defensive stuff? 462, 29, 19, 496, 38. Okay, so aside from speed, uh, Giga Spinax is actually more. So, we'll keep him up. Uh, unsurprising. Poison. That's it. Try to get a little bit of damage off. Zombie sores are immune to poison, death effects. I believe they're, you, they're immune to scared as well. Now Giga Spinax can land a decisive blow on one of these. 13 defense, 16 defense. Try Lasmo. good shot in him no matter where he goes. Yep, even if he moves to the SZ, we're still gonna have Tantra. underestimate the amount of power you truly possess or did you actually gain power from the very contests that I arranged you cannot allow this none can have such power save the great Zaga Zonga enough your life ends here Rex, Zonga Zonga, and Z Rex. Most powerful zombie sore. And easily the strongest ever had to fight. 
Let's do it. This is this is probably my second favorite theme in the game, so I'm also gonna try not talking through much of it. Gotta prepare for a big attack. This is going to hurt. Goes to the AZ to do it. Let's try this, it may miss though. damage. 
don't want to mess up. We're going to try to bank some FP. Them with almost no health, he can't use Wall of the Jungle to heal himself back up. Exactly, he almost he has almost no health to work with. Terra Pulse is guaranteed to kill both of the zombie source. Swords and Zong is hunger and good to be scared. This is my plan because I actually wanted to finish him off with. By an axe. I just want to kill Zonga Zonga last, but I also am trying to make sure Law of the Jungle doesn't have that.
Now he's less incentivized to hit Fine Axe. We've gone through a lot. We've had many fossil battles. And we've accomplished so much with this team. Time to finish off this adventure. final spell fail. Why? Where do you get this power? My friend loves fossil battles, but loves vivisaurs even more. They respond to this affection and give their all to Hope's cause. Possible. Pathetic child in the hearts of these ancient creatures. Is that what makes a fossil fighter? I don't understand. I don't understand any of this. over hopes that you I'd just be a bouncing skull without Zonga Zonga the castle is starting to collapse Y'all know, Galio Geofossil Park in the world was recently facing some grave times. Ancient sorcerer Zonga Zonga up and tried to take over the place with his dark powers. Thanks to the work of a single fighter and some friends, the world was saved. Let me introduce y'all to that fighter. And I present the cor courageous fighter that whooped up on Zonga Zonga, Obes. Old Zonga Zonga wanted Hobes body for his own, but our hero was having none of it. Hard work and courage, Zonga Zonga was defeated once and for all. So, as was promised, I'm handing over the keys to this here fossil park. Now, I know it weren't me who promised the, the park, but it came from my body, so I feel partially responsible. Besides, I can't think of a better way to express my gratitude for all you did. You're gonna be a right fine park owner, Hobes, I know it. You're going to accept, right? I reckon I'm not confused. Why don't you want the park? 
because Joe gave us dreams. That's right. Without you, Joe, we'd never have carried out our dream of becoming fossil fighters. And I bet you want Joe to stay and keep helping people with their dreams, right? Well, shucks, Obes. Right, twist my arm, so I'll stay on as the owner. Now that we've wrangled that out, we've got another announcement to make. This here tournament was a great success, in spite of it being set up by some evil witch doctor. But while I was down Boneyard, I did my best to mess it up, and I feel right shameful for that. Sometime soon, I plan on holding a second Calliostia Cup. Gonna be the biggest, badness, rootinest, tootinest tournament ever. But I want y'all to get ready for the Calliostia Super Cup. You're gonna enter out, Hobes? Wouldn't be the same without you. Of course I am. Yeehaw! Now let's show this world of dinos and dreams its biggest adventures yet. There we have it, folks. The end of the Fossil Fighters Champion's story. This is not going to be the last you see of this game. Not only is there some post-game, but there is a small project that I am going to undergo with this game. That part will mostly be off screen, but I hope to present the finale of it when that finishes. I am going to try and dig up every fossil rock in the game. And to boot, every single one of those rocks is going to be red. We're gonna have every Vivasaur maxed out with all their fossils in this game, including the Super Revolvers. Super Revolvers part is going to be the hardest part by far because that is that is the part that requires a lot more studying. Dead. We watch this credits roll. Some uh, minor announcements for the next part of the channel. I think my goal for this series, well, two major goals really, was to show off a game that I feel does not get the praise that it so honestly deserves. This is an absolutely fantastic game. And more people need to know about it. Luckily, this has been in the pipeline before my channel even really started. Before the first video went up on my channel, this this playing this game on the channel has always been in the back. I've always wanted to play this for you. And now that now that it's over, I almost feel sad because now I'm gonna be playing one of my favorite games for now. At least the main story. It felt great because I've the last time I played this game was a long while ago. Rest in peace, Satoru Iwata. You will always be remembered. Getting to re-experience with hopefully. At least a few people that have also never experienced this game before. It's just, it just feels amazing. But it's one of my favorite things is sharing some of my favorite things with people in hopes that they get more fans. I do know what game that we are going to be playing next because, spoiler alert, it is not the Platinum Soul Link with Hobie because 
he has IRL stuff going on, and that won't be available for a while. So, but I do have the next game lined up. You'll have to wait and see what that is. Until then, we got a few more episodes of this game to go. A couple post-game things. And then after that, it'll be my... It'll be my goal to get all the Vivasaurs afterwards. I can't believe how much happened. I've only been here for a few days. It has been an amazing experience for me as well. I remember the joy of battling and was able to reconcile with my father. The tournament has changed me and I will not soon forget it. Me too, Digga. Don't forget me. Before I came here, I couldn't even take off my Digga dumb mask, Digga Dig. Now I can talk and laugh and all that stuff, but I'm, plus I'm not a huge snob anymore. And I learned how to be brave, which means I'll never fake a stomachache again. Can't thank you enough for all you've done, Hope. Yeah, huge thanks, dig a dig Thanks, buddy. There is one final order of business to take care of. Be careful, Hope, because I'm going to beat you in the Caliosteo Super Cup. Digga, that's what I was going to say. I'm way more powerful without this mask, Digga Dig, so you better watch out next time. Wait, oh wait, me too. I'm going to totally win next time and I'll be all of you. <laughs> I think we have more adventures awaiting us in this fossil park. No, we're going to have fighters coming in from all over the world. Plus, they have about a zillion fossil rocks they need to ex excavate. You're telling me, Pauline. Feel the same way. I'm just so excited I could pop. Come on, everybody. Let's go digging. Dig up fossil rocks, revive them, and battle until I fall over, Digga. The park will be even better when I'm sharing with my friend. You have a save file with cleared game data, you can start a new game with Vivasaurus in the cleared file. Let's save. Twenty-two hours on the clock. The tournament has begun at Ribula Town's Fossil Stadium. Data dig areas have opened up at Rainbow Canyon. We've got the Troll Team Assemble sonar cover. Unfortunately, folks, I know it's a bit short. That is where we're going to have to end the episode today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And ring the bell so you know when the post game for this comes out and when the next game in the series comes out. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.